Hey Griffin, it's uh, Monday and I'm kind of late, but as long as I make my video before you, I feel like I'm still on time. Uh, Hero is on my lap right now, and I'm about to yell and stuff because it's so cold. I am putting my feet in ice because they're sore from roller derby. You can't tell, but it's ice water. I went to the grocery store. I went to the convenience store and bought ice. Ah, oh, the cat left me. Here I Oh, this is video for Griffin. Thanks for sharing your thoughts on your favorite music for 2017. I know it's not a thing that you like to do or a strong suit. Oh! No, oh, damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's, it's too cold. No, oh, damn. I think my heart might stop. I'm gonna die right here. I'm gonna die. Oh. I will definitely check out Eden and Chelsea Cutler. Because I like your taste in music. And uh, I appreciate you. Also, the last two weekends have been really good for me. Two Saturdays, I hung out with a friend. And afterwards, I hung out with some people from all over me for a couple hours. It's like the most social interaction I've had. Had. It was good. It was good for me. Oh, you give me a lot of credit for stuff and being compassionate and thoughtful, and it's very, very sweet. And I appreciate it. It's not how I think of myself, but I think you have a pretty good read on me. And I know that I'm too hard on myself, so you know, maybe you're on to something. Oh, God! Oh! If my neighbors are home, they will be concerned. Don't look at me, hero. Don't remember me like this. The Cognitive Behavioral book, I got it in the mail. Edited the first chapter, and I'm going to do another chapter. Uh, why does my chest hurt? Why does my chest hurt? Movies. Uh, you talked about a Star Wars movie coming out. Solo comes out in June. The Han Solo movie that nobody asked for. Uh, starring a guy who doesn't look or act like Han Solo. All in there and right. I'm not optimistic. Uh, but Donald Glover's in it as Lando Calrissian, so that part's gonna be great. So it's got a, it's got a plus. Also, Woody Harrelson is great, and I love him, and he's in it. And I like Ron Howard as a director. Uh, you said there was a Batman movie coming out this year. Nope, sorry, Griffin. No Batman movie coming out this year, unless it's a surprise. Uh, there is an Aquaman movie coming out, which, I mean, could you pick a worse superhero? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, however, I like the director, so it could be good. Um, could be good. Uh, fun story, speaking of surprise movies, uh, I love the Cloverfield movies, the Cloverfield from, you know, back, back in the mid-2000s, and then, uh, Cloverfield, or 10 Cloverfield Lane, uh, as you know, I'm a huge fan, bigger fan than you, yeah, said it, because I like it more, and you like the ending, because you don't get how good it is, um, love it, and then, you know, Super Bowl Sunday, they were like, hey, by the way, we're just gonna drop this movie on Netflix, for freezies, and I'm like, what? So I went and saw it, and I was like, what? And then I was like, wow, bad movie. Bad, not good movie, not good movie. Like, wouldn't even, like, waste your time on it. Not a good movie. Um, I could get into it more, but I would just say, just unenjoyable, bad, bad, absurd plot. Good actors, good acting, bad movie. Um, but still, 
Uh, that was the first movie that I'd seen that's been released in 2018. Like, I've seen some 2017 movies, like, catching up on them. Uh, so yeah, for a couple weeks there, The Cloverfield Paradox was the the best movie I've seen all year. I can say that's no longer the case. Because I saw Black Panther on, uh, Friday, and I loved it. It was so, so good. Uh, yeah, I loved it. Um... Ryan Coogler, once again, uh, I love his directing. I think he does a really good job. Also writing. Uh, yeah, he wrote a story that made sense. Uh, real crazy, like, I mean, is it a perfect plot? No, but, like, plot holds? Not really. Uh, Eric Killmonger. I want to say it. Uh, I'm going to say best more MCU villain we've had so far. Uh, three-dimensional character? Uh smart, uh, had a plan that made sense. Like, I will give, uh, Civil War a lot of, you know, kudos for, you know, going the crazy out of, look at all these things, look how smart it was, we got all this together, like, yeah, it's like, really, like, it had a lot of, you know, chances that had to work out for it. This one didn't, it was really straightforward, like, it was a good-ass idea, and it worked. Did he end up getting, you know, murdered at the end? Yeah, but he literally came from uh, being a kid in Oakland to uh, being the king of Wakanda. So, I mean, wins for you. Uh, and beyond that, like, the representation was amazing. Like, an almost, like an almost entirely black cast. Uh, a movie where, though there were a lot of strong men, like, I feel like the strong females, like, dominated. Uh... Di, uh, Denai Guerrera as the head, as I, Okoyo, the head of the Dormelage, was so good. Like, she stole every scene, and she just is so amazing. She's going to be in uh, Infinity War, and I'm excited to see her because she beats ass. Um, also, Shuri, uh, Black Panther's little sister, was great. I think, I, I am not, I don't, I'm not mad at them for kind of taking the scientist side out of Black Panther and giving it to someone else. Because it's just like, you know, being like one of the world's best fighters and a king and one of the best scientists in the world, it's a lot to hold. It's a lot of things for one person, so I don't blame, like, I think we have this problem where it's like, oh, every superhero does every single thing, and I think it's smart to, you know, spread some of that stuff out. Spread it out. Um... Michael B. Jordan, so good. What, a, like I said, an amazing villain. Uh, conflict, not a, I wouldn't say conflicted, but a complex three-dimensional villain. Um, Andy Serkis, he was fun. Just kind of dicking around. Look how crazy I am. Look, I'm gonna blow up stuff with my hand. It was cool. I'm okay that he's dead. I'm not concerned. I'm sad that uh, Killmonger's dead. I get it. Couldn't have finished it better. Like, no. Um, I'm, I'm gonna die here, like, you're, I'm not gonna live just so you can, you know, put me in a cage, like, put me in the ocean with my ancestors, cause I would've jumped off the boats, I'm like, wow, 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 uh, it's a deep movie, and it talks about a lot of stuff, that, like, we don't talk about in America, really, um, and I appreciate it went there, like, for just any mainstream movie to go there, like, that's ballsy, and I appreciate it, and I love it, and I'm actually going to watch it again today. Um, it's good. It's really good. Also, before uh, Infinity War comes out, can we sit down again and, you know, recalibrate our uh, MCU list? Because I want to recalibrate our MCU list. I know you've got some feels, I've got some feels, and we have, like, two new movies, you know. Where are they going? Where are they going, Griffin? Um... Oh, I'm so tired. Um, but I'm no longer afraid of ice. It's great. My feet are doing great. Um, yeah, Derby's been breaking my body, so I'm like, I gotta ice my feet and just, you know... Ah! Um... That's it. That's me. Um... I genuinely think I'm in a better place right now, and I think that I've been spending a lot more time just trying to... give myself some credit and some space and some leniency um going easier on myself and then the whole thing with my sister happened i'm like no but you know what else i'll be okay and i get to see you in like may yeah so have a great day